Hello and welcome. This tutorial is part of a series How to become a game developer. The first working cycle to get 3D characters or props for your game is the creation of a design cycle. This is my personal checklist. So far I have created tutorials about sketches and concepts. You can find the link to these tutorials in the description below. Today we'll learn how important viewplanes are and to make a good 3D setup in Blender before modeling. What are actually viewplanes? Where do you need them? In game production and especially for CD artists, viewplanes are very important to bring a 2D concept to a 3D model. Those special 2D concepts should be drawn without any perspective or a special pose of the character. Views show the designed character from all sides, front, back, left and right side. It is much more easier to deal with your design first in 2D before you switch immediately to 3D. So think about your character as a whole. How would it look like from backside? Is there a special object which influences the shape of your character? Additionally, it is essential to prepare this 3D scene with 2D images as a reference to make the modeling process easier you are able to create this 3D model based on the design of your character with the help of viewplanes. But how can I implement my 2D views to 3D scene? I use this 3D software Blender because it is completely free and it is as well very powerful. So open Blender, create a new scene and place a cube in the middle. Hopefully you have set up a startup file Otherwise, I have created a tutorial for you in the description. This cube now represents the actual size of my character in the game. So adjust the scale properly. My character should be 1 meter and 90 centimeter tall. It is very helpful that one unit in Blender stands for 1 meter and Unity work with the same use of units as well. Very important to know is that you need to work in the orthographic view because you want to work without any perspective. If you don't have this side view on the right side, which is the object property panel, just press N to call it up. Scroll to the bottom where you find the background images. Enable and expand this. Click add image. Let's add the front view image first. On axis, which is currently on all views, select front. This is important that you only see this image from the front view. In any other view you can't see this image. Now open your image. Select the front view image. You can see now that the image is much more bigger than my cube. I need to downscale this image, so it will fit in the z-axis to my cube. After you load your image to the scene, there appear more setting options to my background image panel. You can now change the opacity of this image, scale it, transform it or even rotate it. You can also bring the image in front of my 3D objects or to the background. Adjust the image till the concept fits into the size of the cube. You need to repeat this process as well for the back view, left and right view. Just care about that the correct image is assigned to the correct view axis. Congratulations! You have prepared your scene with image planes and you can start modeling now. You can enable and disable the image planes by pressing the eye icon in the background image panel. If you liked this little tutorial, please give us a like and subscribe our YouTube channel for further tutorials. Even better is to support us on Patreon, so we can go on doing what we love. 
or you subscribe our weekly newsletter on our homepage. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you again. Cheers!